All right, Tad, week eight. We start with the quarterbacks, as we always do. And I'm going to be selfish here. Cam Newton has been a question on a lot of people's mind. He's not really injured. Maybe psychologically. Yeah, I think hurt he's not... feelings is how the injury report came out. Is that what they did? Yeah, hurt feelings. Um, so, yeah, Cam Newton, obviously, he, he's a first-round pick with a lot of drafts uh, at the worst second-round pick. He's in that top five quarterback discussion this summer. Really hasn't came up to expectation. Yeah, if you're a Cam Newton owner, and this is my advice, uh, you may have something different to say. Sit him on the bench wow. this week, and if you don't have him, trade for him after this week when his value is as low as can be. I still think he's a must-start because look at these last totals for me. Last three weeks in my league, standard quarterback scoring, 31 points, 7 points, which is terrible. And last week, you think he has a terrible game, he had 16 points. So when you get those rushing yards from the quarterback position – he just piles up points even when he's playing a pretty bad game. I'm going to rip this off real quick. Chicago, number one against the run. I Six agree. passing Listen, touchdowns I understand allowed, that. But, 14 interceptions. But I think you and a lot of people are totally going off that Monday mm-hmm. night debacle where Chicago killed Detroit. Mm-hmm. It's got to be rare for a team to score 30 fantasy points as a defense week to week. I think a lot of people, you know, their expectations get a little bit too high for defenses when they do that on a primetime game. Bold prediction, zero points this week. For the Carolina oh, Panthers. Oh, that'd be Cam Newton. No, Are you no, crazy? For, no, no, no. Zero okay. points for the Carolina Panthers. They will not score any points. When his value is low, trade for him because his schedule is awesome. Great thing about life. Cam is yeah. at any point in time, he could run off a 40-yard run. That's four fantasy points. Mm-hmm. Takes other quarterbacks a long time to get yeah. to that point. And since you have Cam Newton, you were probably mulling over this decision. You were going, am I taking Stafford or Cam Newton? Exactly. You're probably yeah. happy you got After Newton. the Holy Trinity, is yeah. it Stafford or is it Newton? I'm, I'm sitting Stafford again this week as well. Okay. Not, not again because most weeks you're going to start him, of course. I'm sitting them against Seattle. I think they're impossible to throw on in Seattle. And, I, I mean, the numbers prove it. Yeah, and I think Stafford's throwing like mm-hmm. over 40 balls a game. That means they've been down on a lot of games, a lot Can't of errant throws, mm-hmm. interceptions, things like that. So I'm going to tend to agree with you, even yeah. though it's silly that we're sitting here saying sit the number four, number five, highest-rated quarterbacks going into week one of the NFL yeah, season. Yeah, and we're, we're, we're telling you we're to sit these guys. You're playing Newton, but I'm telling you sit yeah. both Newton and Stafford least we can do is give you some alternatives, right? Yeah, so Phillip Rivers, you're starting Love him. him. Love him this Really? Week. Now, don't like, I think he's a matchup play for the rest of the season because it's a bad matchups. He turns the ball over. Love him against Cleveland. He's building the rapport. But I see, Gates. I looked it up, yeah. man, and this dude is ranked 22 among quarterbacks. Yeah. I mean, he's not starting in a deep 16-team league. I mean, if you look at the points, he shouldn't yeah. be a starter. He should be on your waiver wire. It's a matchup play, and I'm going to play him. Now, I'm going to give you two options. No, but two remember good. when Phillip Rivers was a yeah. lock? Yeah. He, yeah. He, no matter what the matchup was, you're starting him as a hey, top-five quarterback. I know. That's why I drafted him, okay? Now, I think the running game's picking up. I think when Vincent Brown gets back late in the season, he's going to be really good. Uh, but I'm going to move on to a couple options that people might have in their waiver wires or their bench. Right. Would you play Sam Bradford or Matt Hasselbeck this week? Now, I Bradford's like Bradford's against New England, Hasselbeck against. I like Bradford. I know they're over in London, but you know New England's mm-hmm. terrible against the pass. I think they've given up the most touchdowns uh, by defense to a quarterback. So yeah, tied, I, I like tied Brad. with two other teams, 16 right. touchdowns at defense. I like so. Bradford on that. Uh, so. Carson Palmer, Brandon Whedon, both have pretty good matchups. You like Yeah, all these guys are kind of sitting on your waiver wire, possibly, especially Palmer and Whedon. You're wondering if it's, uh, like you said, a matchup type Uh of thing. Uh, Whedon against San Diego, Palmer against Kansas City. Uh I just don't like the Raiders, and I don't like Carson Palmer. So I'm going with Whedon just because I think they'll probably both end up with the same fantasy points. But I think the uh, Whedon will do better. I played Whedon on a bye week last week, and and it was – uh, pretty good. He threw two touchdowns for me, and you know, got me 18 points, which is all, I, which is all you want from a bye week. Back. I think if you get Still, Carson it, Palmer's been playing well lately. I say double digits, but if you get 10 points from a quarterback, you're pretty disappointed. If you're in the teens, I mean, I think you gotta, you know, pat yourself on the back because you did pretty good. That's why I talked about Cam Newton earlier in the show. He played bad last week in quarterback turns, fantasy turns. He gives you 17 points. Yeah, zero points against uh, well, not, right. not zero fantasy. I'm calling points. you out next week yeah. if it doesn't happen. But, but so. I, I don't see. But them I, scoring. I will. Well, how admit, about this? No touchdowns. Make it a field. Goal. I will admit that I am biased, but I'm just going to go against the grain here. Everybody's saying sit Cam yeah. Newton. But I'll tell you what. Week. After he stinks it up this week, trade for him. The schedule is awesome. The rest of the way, I love Cam Newton after the at, week nine on. So that's week eight. Sit start for the quarterbacks. We're going to answer your questions on Twitter for next week's show as well. Hit us up at at STNTV. Submit your questions. You'll make it on the program as well. Comment, like, subscribe to this video. For Tad Dixon, I'm David Brickley.